Well, since my uh, recording and everything seems to be going fine right now, I'm going to try and kick out one more of these real quick since I heard a couple people talk on the Twitter about issues with uh, bagging and boarding. Um, and I see that Mark isn't going to do one of these videos. Come on, Mark, it's in your name. Bag and board on the camera. Real quick, I'm just going to kind of go through my bag and board. Um, I think a lot of this has to do with uh, what you think your collection is going to be, what you're going to do with it, uh, what it means to you. I mean, you could just throw these in a pile, in a box, or on the floor, or whatever. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what my comics mean to me. I mean, I'm when I'm 60 and retired, I, I don't know that I'm going to read these again. I don't know that I think that these will be worth a whole lot. Uh, we've seen the market and how the market plays with it. You know, and then I don't know that I would want to sell them. I mean, we all collect, and I don't know. Are these dead animal trophies for me? Are these the, the things I've hunted down, enjoyed, and now I, I, I perch and show for people? I'm not entirely sure. But what I figured I'd do is just kind of show you the, the basics real quick and a couple of hints uh, from people that I've gotten. Uh, went down to my local comic book shop, buy for like $10 a, a hundred or so boo -boo, plastic bags that are, and they talk about different sizes, whether they're um, golden age or, you know, some of them are unusual or most of them will fit <clears throat> your comic book just about exact and snug. And of course the cardboard inserts they also sell. Um, you know, it is it is amazing, uh, you know, that we buy all these and what we do with them. Um, you know, there's some places you can get prices that, that are, are cheaper. I believe it's like, I think it's like 10 and 10 for me. Um, so I always start by getting my bag, putting my cardboard insert into it. Just about a couple inches in. The side that's the side that's going to have a flap that's where I insert my comic and then I just slide that into the bag give it a little shake to jiggle it down to the bottom there we have it so now the flap folds away from my comic book side so that as I attach it, I'll attach it on the back. And of course this is all very difficult to see with all my glare and everything. I'm just kind of going through it. The number one thing is as we apply our tape, I take one piece of tape. Um, I fold it over onto itself, creating this little uh, section that I can get two fingers onto that doesn't stick to anything. I fold my flap down and I apply my tape. And what you, may, of course, with all this wonderful super glare, see if I can put my big noggin in the right place. The tape I have running here with the flap of the tape out. So as I peel the tape down, my flap comes loose. The tape can go back and it will just stick to this plastic part. It will never, ever touch my comic that's coming out. As you can see, there's my comic, there's the cardboard, and there's my flap. So this part is not sticky at the very end. As you can see, it slides back and forth on here. So I can just push it down. I think we've seen this on chip bags recently where you could fold that back down and just reseal. I tuck the flaps in because when I put them in the boxes otherwise sometimes it, it's a bit of an issue if the, the big flaps not there. Uh, the tape doesn't seem to be a big deal. Uh, you know people do upgrade their bags to, to mylar um, 
I have not purchased any Mylar. I, you know, I've never in physically seen Mylar to be able to tell the differences. But once again, that feeds back to how long am I going to keep this? Um, I know they recommend every 10, 15 years or so you would switch out your, your bags, depending on how nice you want to keep them. Mylar, I guess, is much longer. Um, you know, but we don't put them in the sun. We don't keep them in an area that's not you know, too hot, too cold, whatever. Um, the flap was the main thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, the tape flap, because I've had a couple of people talking about it sticking to uh, their comics. I hated it. I used to go to um, comic shops, and you see the double piece of tape that if you were to finally get it off, as you and take the comic out, it's just fiasco. This method I've heard from... Uh, Captain Cummings, so I wanted to pass the word on as I, I as I got into um, comic book collecting. That was the number one thing that helped me out. I really generally hate bagging and boarding, um, but you know it's one of the things I am doing right now until I do figure out what my comics truly mean to me. Um, on some of them, I also insert a one in comic on both sides. There is the paper or the cardboard in the middle. Once again, it does have the flap on top so that I could take it out, put that back, put the tape there. So, because the bags and boards, while being not crazy expensive, once you're into your third or fourth uh, long, short box, long box, you start to realize I'm buying a lot of these. And yeah, I mean, especially if you end up. I only do like four to eight. I mean, eight is a huge amount of comics per week for me. For you guys that are doing 24, 30 comics a week, I don't know how you do it. Um, but this is just a little hint and thought. Some of them, if they have more pages than our standard, I don't include the cardboard. Once again, I mean, it's going to come down on me. It's It's going to hurt me in the long run if, you know, a corner gets uh, corner gets dinged because there's not cardboard in it. Um, but I don't know that I'm going for mint. I don't know that I'm going for near mint. I don't know that I'm going for very good even. Um, right now, I'm just collecting comics, talking about them, uh, reading them, rereading them. Uh, I'm trying to find that I'm most of my stuff I reread in trade, um, and so. I'm wondering from you, um, are you collecting? Are you trying to get near mint? Are you putting them in mylar? Are you putting them bag and board? Um, are there other tips and tricks that you do to slide it in, slide them out, uh, tape and flaps and all that good stuff? I know some people tuck the flaps in. Let me know in the comments. Uh, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What do comics mean to you? There we go. And catchphrase.